I returned to Magic the Gathering right as original Innistrad was released. When Magic returned to Ravnica, I got to experience one of the most celebrated planes of the multiverse for the first time. As friends around me at my local game store threw around words like Izzet and Boros and Orzov, I learned for the first time about the guilds of Ravnica, and I was hooked. My local game store actually played this footage of Wizards of the Coast announcing the return to Ravnica on a loop, and everyone in the store joined the real-life crowd of Magic players cheering, literally thunderously applauding and cheering when they learned we were getting Shocklands reprinted. Prince. I remember this one evening when several friends who I had taught to play came over for dinner and games, and I made everyone guess as to what form guilds devoted to each of the two color pairings would take. I then put on the trailer, and the wild tease of our upcoming journey to Ravnica electrified the evening. Boxes of Innistrad were already outrageously expensive and getting more so every day. Being a lowly adjunct professor, I of course had no retirement plan, no savings, no health insurance. So I thought, I bet if I buy a case of this set, it'll be worth a fortune in a few years. <laughs> And that was also the year Wizards of the Coast decided to amp up production in response to the exploding popularity of Magic, and Return to Ravnica booster boxes stayed pretty close to their initial offering price over the next eight plus years, unlike Innistrad. So I got a lot of drafts in with friends over that time, and thankfully, as a YouTuber, unlike as a college professor, I now have a retirement account and health insurance and a box left over of each of the sets from the original Return to Ravnica block. Not the original Ravnica block, the original Return to Ravnica block. We've been to Ravnica a few times now. Now, I could sell these, I guess, but I'd rather play the booster box game with them and see if I can get enough cards worth the price of another box to get and open another box, which I will do, but oh, the prices on these boxes have somewhat gone up, so I'll need to get the present day cost of a new sealed box. How can I justify this risk? Well, this video is sponsored by Noom. Noom is a different, new way to get healthy, lose weight, and achieve your goals using proven psychology and cognitive behavioral therapy practices. Real talk, if you're like me, you've probably tried a lot of programs and found most were a little more than a calorie tracker. Noom is so much more. You know, over 80% of Noom users have lost weight on other weight loss plans only to gain it all back. That's because knowing what you're supposed to do is one thing and sustaining it is another. Noom is all about helping you sustain it. Noom helps you learn how your mind works and the why behind the decisions you make. Learning, not dieting, is what leads to real lasting change. Why do you make the decisions that you make and how can you work towards changing them for the better? Noom leverages psychology and science and real life people to help you live the healthy, fulfilling life you deserve. And that's what I've found most helpful about Noom, actually. It's been the live personal coaches who work with me to help in the changing of my long-term habits. So take your free 30 second quiz by using my link in the description and get started today. Thank you, Noom, for sponsoring a vintage booster box opening. Now, let's return to Ravnica. D don't, don't worry, there's a chair there. I threw the, the box on the chair. I didn't really throw it on the floor. It landed safely and cushioned. I, it's just, it just makes the video a little more fun when I do things like that, right? As always, I need cards to equal at least $2 in value to make it reasonable to sell them on online marketplaces due to those marketplaces, seller fees, shipping fees, etc, etc.
<laughs> oh, what a nail biter. I thought we were going to get there. But you know what they say. Close only counts in horseshoes and goblin grenades. Now, this playmat for Gate Crash is actually my wife's. She won it while about, I think, six or seven months pregnant with our son. I have no idea if that's some kind of a record, but it certainly is a happy memory for us. I forgot to mention in the Innistrad video that the Dark Ascension game day playmat was the one I won. Go mono red burn, reverberate that goblin grenade. So here we see the wife's precious gate crash game day playmat. I loved game day so much. It's really a shame they discontinued it. It was just one of the best ways to get people down into the shop ready to play standard.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new record. I do believe I'll need to triple check that this is the lowest booster box value of any booster box in the booster box game. Move over, Fallen Empires. We have a new champion. It's Dragon's Maze. Did you know Fallen Empire booster boxes are now going for like $1,000? Oh my goodness, why? Ah, well, we didn't get there with a single box. There's a reason Innistrad booster boxes are selling for what they are and Return to Ravnica and Dragon's Maze especially are not. And it's not just that they printed so much of it, but that also played a part. Still, I saved each of those packs as I opened them and I'm excited to get one more series of drafts in this awesome block and relive those wonderful memories. And I hope maybe my opening these vintage boxes of magic helped you relive some of your fond ones as well. Thanks again to Noom for helping make that possible by sponsoring this video. Remember, Noom is a different new way to get healthy, lose weight, and achieve your goals using proven psychology and cognitive behavioral therapy practices. So take your free 30 second quiz using my link in the description and get started today. Thank you, Noom.